Hi guys, Hello. we're here again today. Um, like every day. Like every day. Like every day. Um, so we have confession time. Yep. My, the chair's wet from drink. <laughs> the drink cup sweat on the chair. Okay, so <coughs> I'm still dying. Okay. She, well, she's not dying. She's not really. Um, it's crazy because I have a hold of it because we broke our. Holder. Our tripod just broke. Our second one. Our first one got stolen. <laughs> we left it outside and somebody took it. Um, <laughs> so there's uh, uh, some kid who's doing really awesome live videos. YouTube videos. It's on, on, YouTube. on our phone. We consider our that tripod. as like bonus to the community. Right. It's it's our gift for everybody. Heather has probably really this, crazy I hair today. I do from have this. crazy hair. Yeah, it's probably the same kid who did like the... Who stole, stole the standard hair. of perfection. <laughs> okay, so... As you guys know, I'm um, very much a crocheter, not much of a knitter. Uh-huh. Um, Heather's like, uh-huh, we know this. And there was socks, knitted socks. It's a hat for... It's a sample sock to show technique is what it is. Of a toe. It's sock. never getting its heel. We're just going to admit that. Or the body. Or the... There's a, two inches of foot. Okay. Okay. I'm done with it. it I'm going to I'm going to bind it off but today. But look, she has done socks in the past. Let me show you. It's on my feet right now. Okay, so I've done socks before. See, look at these. Aren't they they're, beautiful? They're so cute. Okay, those they're, are crocheted socks. Crocheted socks. I will share the pattern link with you guys. But they're we are really going to. Cute. They're super cute. You can do them in whatever you, weight yarn you want, we have and they're fast. Something. But you know why I don't make more of them? Heather, how are those socks to wear? So, you know, if I had knee surgery and I wasn't supposed to get out of bed, these would be the best socks ever. Because walking on them is like walking on a really rocky... Like pea gravel. Pea gravel or like fire. <laughs> they Poles. make... They hurt. Let's they show them hurt. the foot, the, the base. Can you guys see that? Ow. Like, I'm so, I'm so tired. Okay. So see how the base is? They're, They're not knots because crocheting shape. makes knots. Lots of little slip knots. Um, whereas knitting, knitting is, is loops, knitting and the loops, sleepy. the loops lay flat. So if I wanted to gift somebody socks that was supposed to be on bed rest, I would totally gift them crochet right. Slippers. And I will share you that pattern. There's a lot of bed slippers. We that's why they call crochet socks bed slippers. <laughs> You're not supposed to walk on them because they make your feet. Burn. I can't, I, it's the most intense pain ever, but uh, you can't put words to it, can you, Heather? No, it's very intriguing. It is. So, they're even spinning. They're slightly touchy. I have wore them to a fiber festival before. Really? And you survived? I wanted to cry by the end. <laughs> I bet you did. I wanted to cry so bad. So, so that is why there's not a plethora of sock patterns for crochet. Now, you could take this really cute cro sock pattern. That's there is a flat. version of it in knit also. Or you could take and you could totally do stockinette. On, on the sole. On the sole. And then and it would make it much faster and be kind of cute. Or you could take the top and you could put like, I don't know, leather soles on it. <laughs> it makes slippers. Yes. Yes, um, they very much, they hurt a lot. They hurt a lot, and um, and yes. I can't think of any ways to really make it any better. No. Other than knitting them. Other than knitting them. And Which knitting. I did just find a knitted pattern that is done identically the same, but unfortunately it is done in garter stitch. Right. Which will create the same issue that you're having in in the crochet. Maybe so, slightly less because garter is just a little more squishy. Right. But um, it would still be a problem. It would still be a problem. And um, so I would take that pattern and modify it and do stockinette. So the, and everybody always says, well, which is better, crochet or knit? And it really, neither is better. No, it is very much on but what- But there are better purposes for certain things. Socks is definitely one of them. Socks is definitely one of them. The only other one I think is anything that you need a lot of stretch in. Socks. It's easier to. <laughs> socks. <coughs> well, these socks could be used as a medieval torture device. 
<laughs> yep. You know, when you think about it, crochet was originally developed because people couldn't buy the, couldn't get the lace and the hookers used it. I mean, literally the literally, hookers. Literally hookers. The Irish hookers. The Irish hookers used it. Yep. And they kept it in so a box I under their beds. they knitted or if they crocheted the feet or whether they just left it. Yes, it's like the socks, because they literally, I mean, like, I can hardly, I was winding yarn off. <laughs> <laughs> she's over there for hours, because it's like hours of is yarn it, on this thing. She's, she's, like, seriously, it's, see, there's the ball of yarn. It's big. Now, let me get there. I'm trying, sorry, the others. There's the ball of yarn. There's the socks. It's bad. Okay? It's bad. Yes. Um, And I keep laughing, because... So Let's, I wore them for a whole day at a fiber festival. So let's think about ways that you can make this better. Yes, so knitting for socks. Yeah. So let's think about... So Danielle gets frustrated by knitting socks because... Little tiny needles. Little tiny needles. A little frustrating. It, I, yeah, that there is, that is no my problem rules. with that one. There is no rule that you have to use fingering weight yarn for socks. You can use all sorts of yarn for socks. That would make beautiful socks that are not going to kill you. Right. And, and I am. And so when you come in here and you say, I want to make socks, let's mm. go over some of the yarn that we can use that is not fingering weight and that you will actually make progress with your socks. We have an Aaron weight yarn that is a sock yarn. It is a super. Any super wash merino. Any of our, like our, um. Our LRA Cozy Soft would make great socks. Yes. This Drover would make great socks. There's all sorts of socks, yarns. Yes. Do not get stopped, thought process that you have to make it on single. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Your favorite subject. Socks. Um, socks. It, it, you do not have to make your first sock pair on fingering weight yarn. No, the you, whole thing with socks, what you need to keep in mind is you need a yarn that is going to wear well, which means that it should not be cash merino. Cash merino, what is this? This is, uh, this is me unhinged on socks. Um, Heather has Chinese torture. I have Chinese torture socks, socks on. on. They're See, crocheted socks. They're crocheted. They're torture socks. And you can't walk. Um, <laughs> so that's what we're talking about is torture socks, which are crocheted socks. And, the and the sock, and okay. So if you are knitting a pair of socks that are not on, not in fingering weight and not on really fine needles, they're not going to be the type of socks that, um, I'm, I finished crochet socks and I it should not be believed. <laughs> I'm confessing my sins here, Kelly. Um, so here's the thing. Making socks is a pattern. It, it is a formula. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to turn the heel. You have to learn how to make a toe. Oh. That's all you really have to do is learn how to consistently make the heel, turn the toe, or turn the heel and, and make a toe. You can learn that on a worsted weight, and it makes it much easier if that is what you're used to working with than a fingering weight. And you can whip out sock after sock after sock in worsted weight. It will make a boot sock. There's even a term for it. They're called boot socks. They're squishy. They're, They're squishy. squishy. They're also, you could also wear them as slippers. That's what I do here all the time is wear my hand knit socks that I haven't knitted as slippers because they're warm. We buy those. We buy them from the, from See, the sock that's a, There you go. We buy our socks. Yep. That's the real confession. But there's, there's nothing wrong with taking it a step back. So if your goal for 2020 is to learn how to make socks, totally cool. You can start out. Do not limit yourself to the size one needle to everything. Some people that makes them so happy. So happy. It, there's different heels. Yes. Yes. See, and you can make an afterthought yep. heel and you can do everything. But some people make some Heathens. So we are heathens. We are. We are heathens. Did you not see our hair color? Right. Um, so anyways, my shoulders breaking because <laughs> like the tripod. <laughs> um, so we, um, the whole key is to do a to make your socks or your booties or whatever you're making or however you want to call them um in a in a durable yarn in a yarn and the material the yarn is made out of is important um cheetos yum 
Ina's having Cheetos. Oh. She says they're baby Cheetos. I think they should be real Cheetos. Uh-huh. Feed her real Cheetos, Kelly. Don't skimp on the other stuff. Gosh, get real ones. Um, so... Anything with mohair in it. Mohair is extremely hard wearing. Silk is very hard wearing. Um, yes, Sport and DK makes great socks. Right. Then you're not using the size one or two needles. Did you know also we were just discussing you can make DK yarn out of holding two strands of fingering weight together? Yes, so you can because get all the pretty fingering weight colors. We were talking about what yarns I buy. And I buy a lot of um, fingering weight yarn. Okay. When I go someplace, I buy fingering weight. Most of my stash is fingering weight yarn. That is, that's because I will, um, I will carry two together if I want it heavier. Right now I'm working on a shawl that is heavier. Um, because it's two strands of fingering weight together. What is that? DK Kelly? She'll tell me the Double real knitted. turn. Uh -huh. Double knitted. Mm -hmm. DK. A DK um, with two of them together. And, and then my entire stash is the same weight of yarn. That is important to me because then I can, then I can go through and go, oh, these six yarns go together beautifully. I can make, <coughs> I don't know what, something huge right. out of it. Um, and it doesn't matter. And then I'm not or, having to buy yarn for you can patterns beautiful worsted weight yarns it doesn't matter. right yeah there is no limit <coughs> don't limit yourself to what you can do just based on what you think your final result should be it is okay to take and make your first pair out of super bulky right and just learn how to turn your heel and learn how to do all the things with your super, super bulky don't get scared because of one thing and think that you can't do it However, do get scared of using the wrong craft, i.e. crochet, <laughs> for socks. For socks. Because then you have Chinese torture socks. We're going to keep this pair of crocheted socks in the shop. And anytime anybody says, well, that, we're going to make them put, put the, the sock on uh -huh. and stand on it. I will share the pattern for you, yes. just in case you need somebody. They are really cute. They're, they are super cute. Cute. Maybe. Then they are so good. Like uh, next time I have knee surgery, this is what we're sending people. Leg surgery, <laughs> hip replacement. Somebody sprains their ankle and they shouldn't walk on it. Yep. We're Take gonna, it easy for a few days. Here, here's, here's a pair a of socks. Um, socks so on. we will definitely give you that pattern. It is a really fast crochet. Like seriously, in a day you can have a pair of socks. Um, uh, that you will not want to wear while walking any amount of distance, but they are fabulous and they look super cute on when you are sitting and not applying any weight to your feet. Yeah. <laughs> right. Heather, how are the socks? They're great. It's, it's, you know, it's not the stretch, Kelly. It's the fact that they have like little knots in them. <laughs> knots that you have to stand on. Like, you know, this is how people like imprisoned people so heather uh-huh so heather yeah would you rather wear crocheted socks to a fiber festival or walk through a room full of legos um is the lego room blindfolded or am i able to see the legos it's like a whole floor made out of legos little lego knots everywhere it's just flat but Lego. i don't knots. have to stand there for the whole fiber festival no you just have to walk across that room oh, i walk across that room no problem there you have it yep Walking through a room of Legos, walking on Legos through a room is much more preferred than a day in crocheted socks. Yep. So go. we're going to let you go. No, that knot is it awful is, to stand on. We will share those patterns that I have found with you. How to, um, I don't know, make awful socks. Right. Um, <laughs> and I also found a pattern for making knitted socks in the flat the same way which as, is cool. which is kind of cool. We will share those with you so that you can choose what kind of craft you want to make. Um, and if you don't quite believe me in the crocheted and, socks, you can make your own. And maybe we'll get Danielle to make a pair of boot socks. I, that's, Kelly. that's, I, I am going to make fat socks, Kelly. That's my next goal. Um, I'm, I have one and a half rows left on my shawl that I'm doing. 
And then I want to make fat socks out of the ugly, ugly yarn. It's not ugly. It reminds me of old Santa Fe print from like Garth Brooks. Oh, that's way for the part. Yep. Garth. Is there any of that left? There's only yes. a gray. I think. No, no. There's one with the orange and the that's purple right. and the teal. People really don't like, like that one. Like 1992 Garth Brooks. Okay. <clears throat> she doesn't believe me. I'm going to make them flat. Yep. And stock in it. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll see you guys later. Bye. You guys tell them bye. bye. <laughs>